What's going on YouTube? So I saw this lock. But I still have the model, okay? Now I'm going to show you what we've been doing this couple, last week or two and stuff. We had Adam J take that lock that we sold. And we sold that lock with the 3D scan. So the buyer has both the antique and the digital copy. But now we had Adam J. Hopefully you can get these two. We had Adam J scan or 3D print these using proto pasta. And this is just a red iron filament type of 3D printer. Uh, type of filament for a 3D printer rather. With this one he rusted it using vinegar and um, water. And this one is mine which I'm not sure if I'm going to rust it or not. I'm pretty sure it will rust eventually on its own. Especially with me and my red haired fingers touching it. Now this is one of the pieces from the virtual reality market. This is the big owl that you walk on top of and stand on. This is also my avatar. Now Adam J just sent me the 3D prints in wood filament of this and I haven't cleaned it up yet. I haven't I haven't begun removing support material. You can see I'm starting to remove it now. Hopefully y'all can see all that how it's printed there. Really nice. Got them in two different sizes. So I 3D scanned this in the light studio. Do 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 scanned it. And now I can take the 3D print and take a picture of it in the studio. And then I can use that to get my product, piece of product photography for the 3D print. I can even scan the scan the print in there. I'm probably going to do that sort shortly and try out cloning and stuff. So that's some of the cool stuff that's happened this week. Got these prints in. So also finished this design. I had somebody help me with it. I think it's Dan Baringford or something. I forget that. But this design is made using my antiques that I 3D scanned. And then we have to screenshot the 3D scan, you know, with a different type of wireframe because you got wireframe on some of them on the edges right and I left the wireframe off on the extent the really nice pieces like the names and stuff that you want to read so that's just kind of a demonstration of what else you can do with the 3d scan stuff you can you can print them out you can use them for the virtual reality you can use them in game development and you can also use them in artwork like new types of graphical design that haven't really been done yet yeah you can see that the t-shirt it has this model, like this 3D scan model down here, it has the uh, the actual brass police lock. So this is a 3D print of that 3D scan that's on a t-shirt. Yeah. Amber type photos in there. Last couple weeks, last week we had our first sale of a digital model now. We've been 3D scanning antiques and having them for sale for a while, but we're only now starting to get some traffic to the site and people understand what we're doing. But yeah, we sold the model of this one and licensed it for use in game development and artwork, whatever the buyer has. I'm going to have to contact him and see exactly what he's going to use it for. Just out of curiosity, right? But yeah, this is this old antique axe head that's in our virtual reality market. That we 3D scanned in the light studio. And I'm not sure what the buyer is going to do with it. But yeah, that's what we've been doing. Showing different ways to use our scans, right? 3D printing, artwork, virtual reality. That was good progress. Oh, and the, yeah, this other t-shirt I'm wearing now. Got this one in. Pretty sweet, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.